We're going to show how to test a standard heavy duty and a faulty motor. If your system is not working and you know your solenoids are good but clicking, then the motor is the culprit. We've got a standard duty motor loose from a winch strapped down to a piece of channel iron because there is a lot of torque in these motors. When you put power to it, it will spin one way or the other. First thing you want to do is add a ground. You can't get a real good clamp on this casing, so I screwed in a bolt and that will give us our ground. What we're going to do is we're going to put power from one of the two field terminals and we're going to jump the other terminal back to the armature post. So we will jump from F2 to the armature post Start and then put power to F1. It starts working. This motor is good. To test that the motor works both directions, we will do this in the opposite direction. We will jump from F1 to the armature post and we will put power on F2. You can tell this motor is good now as well, both directions. Now we're going to test our heavy duty Prestolite motor. You can see the posts are a little bit different. Instead of having the two posts in the front and one at the rear, you've got one at the front and two at the rear. The armature post is the one furthest away from the shaft at the back end of the motor. You're going to ground the casing as you would on any other motor and use a bolt that will hook up our ground. We're going to run a jumper from F2 back to the armature, then we're going to put 12 volt power to F1. We will do the same thing, jumping from F1 to the armature, and we will put our power to F2. You can see this motor is working. In case you do have a bad motor, we'll show you what you will get from that bad motor. You will ground the case as shown before, jump from F1 or F2 to the armature, and put power to the other that you have not put the jumper on. When you put power to it, it's either going to run sluggish, make a lot of bad sounds in it, or you're going to have a direct short. So we will put power to it and you will see that we have a direct short. It doesn't spin. As soon as you put power to it, it's very hot. This motor is bad. You can have them rebuilt. Sometimes they do last a while, sometimes they don't. The best option is just to replace. In case you do have to replace your motor, it's important to put the O-ring down on the motor shaft seated all the way down. Put your woodruff key in and put your gear on the shaft. You want to put this gear all the way down, not so tight that it won't let you turn the shaft on the motor, just down tight enough. A lot of people try and put it flush to the end of the shaft. That is not correct. You want it all the way down the shaft. When running the gear at the end of the shaft, it will interfere with the other gears in your housing and create a lot of metal shavings inside your housing, which will damage it further. A very, very important step is that when you are putting your set screw in, use a little bit of Loctite on it. You don't want this set screw coming out of your gear and running around in your gear case. If that happens, you will have to replace all of your gears. So just put a little bit of Loctite in there and you are good to go.